Hey, you guys, guess what time of day it is? It is Dollar Tree time for you all. Hey, my friends. Hey, my family. I'm so sorry I've not been around. You want the truth? I have been battling depression very badly this last few weeks. Well, a month and a half since my brother passed away. And I'm just having a difficult time, folks. I am. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to try to make, you know, whatever. I, uh, you know, I tell you guys the truth, what's going on. And I'm telling you right now. And I so badly want to do all these great things. But then I sit there and I start thinking. And I know I shouldn't, but I do. And it goes right there to my mind. And I can't stop thinking about it. And I, I think I'm going to probably have to go talk to somebody. Need some grief counseling. Not gonna lie, this is this is hard. This has been really hard for me. But um, you know, and I don't want it to be like this every time I get on here, you guys. And I feel like that's the way it is, and I don't want it to be. Right now, life sucks. It sucks for us all. And I just want to find. You know, I talked to my nephews today. I talked to one yesterday, one today, and my one nephew, that's Brian's young, youngest. My heart's breaking for him. He's a married man with a little boy and a good job, and he's just falling apart. He's having an incredibly hard time, and I understand it. Been there, done that. It just sucks, you guys. It just sucks. I really didn't want to do this to you guys. You know what? You know what? You know what? We're going to start over with this. We're just going to keep rolling. I'm not going to make it a Dollar Tree haul. I'm just going to sit here and chat with you guys for a little bit, just because I haven't talked to you in a while, and... I just, I want you guys to know that I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. The beautiful, beautiful letters and cards that I got from people. I'm not kidding you guys. Letters. Big, long letters that meant the world to me. Thank you, card. Not thank Sympathy cards along with my birthday. You guys, I love you guys. You guys are fabulous. And I just... Love you. And these beautiful cards. Look at these envelopes and stuff. This lady here. Um, I don't want to mention any names just because I want to. And Kathy Weber always sends me a beautiful little handmade card. I will show this just because I've done it before. But look, you don't, you don't look a year older. I mean, how precious is that? Donuts and coffee. She knows it's my favorite. She never misses a beat. I love you, Kathy, for sending me these cards because I appreciate it. Look at that. Just a simple card. Just nice and beautiful. And just all the other ones. Beautiful. And I love them. And I'm going to try to answer them. I just, you know, I didn't know that my grief was going to affect you guys like that. And um, you guys are beautiful people. I mean, my heart is... So full with love for you guys, you have no idea. I just wish you guys were here with me every day to get me going and say, Come on, Lisa, let's go. It's some owl. It's kind of stinks. I didn't put it on this. I guess I could try to drink a left hand like my sister in law. <laughs> um, but you guys, I just. I feel like I've been like in this whimsical, not fun whirlwind over the last two and a half months that just Christmas, what Christmas? I didn't even get to celebrate Christmas. And that's, I'm not, not please don't think I'm complaining because I'm like, I sound like a bitch. It just wasn't in the cards. It just wasn't there and it's okay. You know, um, so many people reached out to me and then we had some losses that were, you know, that I, I worked with a gal that, um, I thought the world of her, um, love, love, love her, her daughter, love, love her daughter too, her whole family, beautiful family. And she, the Lord called her home on, uh, the day after Christmas, Brian died on, on Christmas Eve. And I think her mom died the day after Christmas. And it was just sad because she was just such a great woman full of life and love and just, you know, not almost ready to retire, but not quite there yet. She was a social worker. She was beautiful. She just loved her job. I learned so much from her. I did. And I'm going to miss her, but I know she's in heaven right now. And like two weeks after she passed away, her mama passed away. 
So my dear little friend lost her mama and her grandma in two weeks. So when we go to complain about ourselves, I know there's more people hurting out there. I get it. I do. And I'm trying, you guys, to vision with me. Just other things, too. The non-ever-ending battle for the little girl constantly goes on. And now her mom has went on to attack my channel and put it on social media and was just nasty about it. And I'm just like, why? I've never done anything to you except been as kind as I possibly could be in, in, in the matter that's going on. <laughs> it's really difficult for me. But to attack my channel, I'm like, really? That's not cool. I, that's, I don't want to use it like a job, but do I come to your workplace and do your stuff? No. So I've been trying to figure out how to, I don't know how to do that. If you guys have ways of, you can block somebody, the trolls, but then they find a way to get back in there. You know what I mean? Except this one's a personal troll. It pisses me off. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, you guys, I feel bad that I started this off. Ah, it's a Dollar Tree haul, and I just ended up talking to you guys. I just really, I haven't had the chance to talk to you guys, and... I'm struggling with this chronic fatigue thing too. It's and battling with the the, the um, disability people and and they want more and more. They want me to go to the doctor all the time. I can't afford to go to the doctor all the time. I have to be very careful when I go. Okay, because all of it costs money. You know what I'm saying? And I just when on Friday when I talked to them, they're like, "Well, we need more doctors." Out. I'm not going to go to the doctor just to go to the doctor. I. I that's foolish, and I, and I can't afford that. So we're going to have to figure this out. So keep praying for me because I just want to get over this hurdle. And, you know, Mike has been a awesome, wonderful husband through all this, and he hasn't really complained. I'm blessed. Super, super blessed. Let's see. The Hubs is doing well. You know, like everybody else in this, this market. Um, let me take those off for a little bit. Um. They're struggling at their work to find people to um, um, to keep a job. They don't want to keep a job. They come to work. They show up for a couple days. They get a little bit of a paycheck, and they're gone. And it's that way across the board everywhere you go. I mean, health care all the way up and down. Um, you know, I, I'll tell you, I feel sorry for people that have to go in the nursing homes. I really do. My kids know if you don't have to put me in a nursing home, do not put me in one because I know how they work. They're so understaffed and the people they have there, they shouldn't be working. I wish there was a way that you could like find out if a person is, should be in this job or not. Like legitly. Like hey, before you start here, we need to know if you fit this. You know what I mean? Because it's not an easy job. And if you're doing healthcare for money, you're crazy. Better be doing it because you love it and you enjoy it because... You ain't going to get paid what you're worth because you're worth a lot. I'm talking from floor moppers, um, custodians, to hallway cleaners, to food prep people, to food taken to the, to the people, and the nurses, and the housekeepers, and the, the CNAs, and the regular RAs, and the whole shebang, all of them. They all need praise because it's hard right now. It's hard everywhere you go. And then we got this other stuff going on, you guys. I can't, I'm not dealing with that politics, politics, <laughs> political stuff. It's too much for my brain, you guys. I can't deal with it. Lord, just come back. Rapture us up and let's go. I'm ready. Y'all ready? Because I'm ready. Let's go. Because I just, you know, I say that with just such confidence. I mean, it would probably freak me out. But hey, if I'm going, I'm going. Hey, praise the Lord. That's me. But anyways, um, say a prayer for our dear friend Leah for my day-to-day -day life. She eventually will be back. She got COVID, very sick, but is doing much, 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 much better. Leah, I love you. Um, pray for my friend um, Barbara Mooney and her sister, um, they recently lost their mom. Barbara's been sick. She's still sick. And just pray for her and pray for um, Helen because they've also been working on a farmhouse. I didn't quite understand that, but I think it's a new home for them. 
So pray for them too. Um, well, guys, I think that's, I, I probably should get to, no, I'm already at 10. See, I run my mouth. I can run it, people. I can run it good. Anyways, you guys, I love you to pieces. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me for a minute. For, for a minute. I'm going to turn around in just a second. I'm going to do a Dollar Tree haul for real this time, okay? But I love you guys. Thank you so much for caring about me and my family. Um, Remember, sale mail, because everybody likes getting something good mail. Size a damn bill. I know I do, and I appreciate it, too. Do something good for yourself so you can do something good for somebody else. And above all else, be good. I love you. Bye.